morning, Snapchat. What's going on? I'm going to do a little challenge here on Snapchat later on in the day. It's sort of a mini lesson, sort of a homework assignment. It's going to be a good one. But it's been a couple of days since I've been on the Snap, so I'm going to get warmed up with a little machine gun question of the day. This one came in overnight. New student of mine, uh, starting trading, starting doing something different with his life, not satisfied with the job, uh, wanting to become better, uh, wanting to grow, wanting to develop himself. Wife doesn't like it. She says, stop. What do you do? <laughs> this is a quick question of the day, a machine gun. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into depth, but a couple things at play. Firstly, if there's a power imbalance in the relationship and you're already the overdog, she won't want you to uh, widen that gap even further. If you're already more powerful, they won't want you to keep fucking learning and growing and developing yourself and doing something even better because then they become massive underdog. Unless they're also personal developing and they've also got a big vision for their life and they're growing and developing and learning and expanding their awareness as well. If they're doing that on their own accord, they won't care so much. Secondly, when we reach a fork in the road in life, so often, instead of going this way, we go that way. As soon as we make that choice, we get hit with challenges, bombarded with challenges. I believe it's the universe's way of saying, do you really want this? How bad do you want this? In stage two financial independence lesson of infinite prosperity, we say, when you do the saving schedule, you'll get hit with challenges. So if you didn't save any money, but now you're saving 10% of your income, you'll get hit with a financial challenge, an unexpected bill. Who do you pay first, yourself or the bill? By having these challenges arise, it makes you clear up. You get clear with really what you want. What do you want to do with your life? The universe is trying to get you clear. For my particular vision, it's clear and it's big and it's vast. If anything stands in the way of that, it's gone. If I had a wife and kids and the wife tried to pull me away from my vision and stop me from doing this and limit my growth, she's gone. And I get that 99.9% .9 of people won't have that. They won't have that sort of conviction and that polarization of values. But when you're clear on a purpose, you'll do it. You're not serving the kids by staying around, showing them as a male role model what it's like to be pushed around by someone and not follow your dreams, you're disservicing them. Because they'll end up growing up and they'll mimic what you did and they'll end up getting pushed around in their life. They won't take control of their life. They've never seen anyone do it. They've never seen anyone with conviction go after what they want. And I'm not saying everyone go and divorce the wife or anything, but if your vision is clear, it will be an automatic thing. You won't have to ask the question. You won't have to get convinced to do a divorce. Um, but I did want to share this because I guess it's kind of peculiar. I'm a little bit of a savage in that way that you need to understand the extent of conviction required. On the contrary, this is exactly what is not going to give you results. I'm going to post it here. I get this 10 times a day. Screenshot it. 